the book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises that's definitely due to the Heavenly Father and the Son, whose names are Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekak Radash. I'm from the Prophets in Babylon, out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the branch of Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyat. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone. Those fine, sincere brothers who teach well and rule well and are great examples to us brothers out here. And, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for today, a reading out of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 through 33. And Lord willing, I hope this and pray that this will be an edifying lesson to you brothers out here and sisters. And start in verse 20 of the book of Proverbs chapter 1. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the, the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gate. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, verse 22, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the and fools hate knowledge. Yeah. Um, an example of that is, you know, you got st beginning with the elder apostles on down at Great Millstone who go out and preach and teach on the highways and the byways, as well as us brothers out here who believe in this truth and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We go out, you know, and and, and we speak on this, the highways and the byways, this truth and knowledge. And, you know, um, I know personally in our camp, especially uh, yesterday when we went out, that, um, you know, you got people looking, you know, kind of like, what are y'all doing out here? What y'all got going? You know, they see us out there in these garments or what have you, you know, but they don't take the time to come up and see what we're talking about, not realizing that this truth and knowledge applies to them. You know, we're talking about those who are of, of Israel. And, um, you know, the two thirds of Israel love simplicity. You know, they, they, um, as the scriptures say, they are foolish because they have not known me. With speaking of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. So, you know, they scorn. You know, they make 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 fun of the prophets out. You know, they who go out on the highways and the byways. You know, not realizing that. You know this 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 truth and knowledge is speaking. This it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah speaking to them, but they're rejecting the knowledge by making fun and you know scorning what have you. You know, verse twenty three. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you again. That's, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah speaks through his prophets, you know. And like I say, on the highways and the byways, you know, beginning with the elder apostles on down, as well as the other brothers who believe in this truth and knowledge, they're on the highways and the byways speaking this truth and knowledge. And, and, and again, Jake just walks by, you know, Jake and Eve, they walk by, you know. So when that time comes, when things get um, increasingly wicked out here, Jacob's trouble comes, 
you know, they're going to be looking for those people, you know, but they will not be found. The prophets will not be found. You know, the prophets and the teachers will not be found because Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to get them off the streets. Verse 24, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Yeah. These ones that ride by, look, they look at you. They might wave, you know, but they keep going because they have no regard for this, this truth and knowledge that, that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah has, has uh, you know, he speaks through his prophets, you know. And they, you know, they ride on by. So they have no regard for this, this, this wisdom and knowledge, man, you know. Verse 25, but ye have set at a at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you fear when your fear cometh. Yeah, so you know, just like they may mock the prophets and the teachers out there who go on the highways and the byways preaching this truth and knowledge, you know. Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah is going to be laughing at them, you know? And he's going to put the spirit on his his prophets to to be also laugh at them during their calamity when when uh, the two-thirds of Israel go through their calamity, you know? Verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Yeah, so, you know, the scripture, I think it's in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, it say, seek now, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, while he can be found now, you know? And he can be found now through the spirit you know, in the spirit through the prophets, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the prophets speak this, this truth and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that's the opportunity to seek and see what, what, uh, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is, is saying, you know, but again, they're, you know, Jake is simple. They, they love simplicity. So a lot of them are not going to turn back. So when the calamity come, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to turn his back on them. Verse 29, for they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Verse 30, they would would none of my counsel they despised all my reproof therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them but whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Yeah. So um, those who are of the hopeful elect, you know, those who are of the elect, they're going to be, they're going to be spared from all this, this, this uh, evil that's about to come upon this earth, you know. But the two thirds who have despised this reproof, you know, those who walk, who come out, who pass by, you know, when the prophets are out there speaking and the teachers out there speaking this truth and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, those are going to be the ones who's going to seek Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah early. They're going to be, oh, yeah, now yeah, what, what's going on? What was y'all talking about? And it's going to be too late then, you know. So now is the time to get this truth and knowledge and this, you know, this, you know, this reproof, you know. 
because the scriptures tell you in uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 that wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability in thy times. And those times are coming up real fast. We're talking about Jacob's trouble, you know. So a lot of, of, of Jake's and Eve's are going to get, you know, get caught caught up in, in, in Jacob's trouble and not know what to do. They're not going to have this wisdom and knowledge. And now is the time to get it and change your ways, you know. So, Lord willing, I hope and pray that this was an edifying lesson to you brothers and your few sisters out here. And once again, i like to call on the, on the Heavenly Father in the Son's name, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rekach Radash, because all praises and honor and glory is definitely due to them. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Until the next time, Lord willing, I'll say Shalom.